Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video we're going to talk about how minerals play a big role in assisting with preventing and uh, getting rid of muscle cramps altogether. No matter where they happen in the body, you can use your minerals and specific minerals to help in preventing and getting rid of muscle cramps. Now if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, we do daily videos talking about health and wellness tips and tricks, so I highly advise you to get started and subscribe, we'd love to have you on board. Now let's get started with three ways you can use your minerals to help in muscle cramps. So did you, uh, most of the muscle cramps do happen because of a dehydration issue. So this is because that in the body there is a low level of minerals known as electrolytes. So main minerals that we need, what are the three main minerals or the four main minerals that we need in order to prevent muscle cramps? We need potassium, we need sodium, we need calcium and we need magnesium. All these main four minerals, they contribute to uh, a, a lack of them and the body does contribute to muscle cramps. So you probably don't need the sodium part of it in as much because you do get that from salt but you may need other minerals and the most important is potassium and magnesium so some good food sources that you can rely on for these minerals especially when it comes to magnesium well we've got the nuts we've got beans we've got whole grains as well and what about potassium potassium you can mostly find it in bananas oranges and rock melons in most fruits and vegetables what about the calcium well you can find it in dairy foods if you are sensitive then you can start off by taking tahini tahini is a wonderful source of natural calcium that won't cause any irritation another way you can help with uh, replenishing your body with minerals in order to prevent and to get rid of muscle cramps altogether is just bear in mind take a deep look at your diet if you still take crabs after you're changing your diet and after you use all of the four, four minerals that we talked about in the previous step uh, try to supplement with a combination of a magnesium and calcium equal amounts of magnesium and calcium twice a day they really help and um, with uh, leg cramps because usually leg cramps happen because people have a deficiency in a magnesium so taking supplementation or supplementing with magnesium would be uh, great to help with that but please make sure that you uh, do not take magnesium without uh, calcium because you need both magnesium and calcium in equal amounts in order to get the best out of it now please make sure with your natural practitioner if and how it's suitable for you because we all have our different uh, health and our different things that we are taking so make sure to cross that check that with your own condition with your doctor another thing that you can do is to uh, check into diuretics uh, diuretics uh, really uh, are, can be a contributing factor in uh, uh, kind of stealing away the potassium from your body now as we talked about earlier potassium is one of the four minerals that is needed in order to prevent muscle cramps so if you are taking diuretics on a regular basis if you have some health conditions that uh, kind of encourage you to take diuretics i understand but diuretics could be taking that potassium away and leading to um uh, increased muscle weakness increased muscle cramps so cross check that with your own doctor make sure that if you if it's possible for you to of course with the uh, permission of your doctor to switch to another way other than using diuretics or maybe to supplement with a potassium supplement in that way or increase the uh, potassium foods that you have so we've talked about the three ways to help in using utilizing minerals to avoid and to prevent muscle cramps we've talked about the four main minerals potassium sodium calcium and magnesium we've talked about supplementing with a calcium and magnesium supplement all in one and also taking a deep look at diuretics and seeing if they are a contributing factor in that so 